Hello everyone, Rosendahl here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the brand new New World update. Um, it's 1.1.1. Patch actually just went live uh, on November 30th at 11 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So I'm quickly going to go over what is actually in the patch notes. I will also link it down below if you guys want to check it out yourselves. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So first off, they said that this update is uh, resolving some issues that came up during the big November update. Um, and they're continually working to improve on New World experience. And again, they thank us for our patience, which obviously we have a lot of it since we're still, you know, trucking along in this game. Even though there's a lot of problems and a lot of sadness with the game. But hopefully things will start to look up, especially with the big December update coming. Hopefully some new end game content. Please, Amazon, if you guys are watching this video, please some end game content would be amazing not this artificial like we're gonna expand the gear score even more so you can go past 600 no that's fine but give us some activities to do make it easier to get into dungeons you know give us some things to do not just grinding elite chests all day like that's this you can only do that a little bit and then you're done and like what else anyways that's a whole other topic we don't need to get into that anyways so for the patch, they pretty much just said that they fixed an issue causing a large number of moats to drop from ele elemental enemies, and they also removed elemental moats as rewards from gathering elemental creatures and reduced the amount of other resources acquired from them to account for the number of them in the world and the, the frequency at which they respawn. So I disagree with this whole change here. Um, Moats are kind of a pain in the ass to get now, especially because they are required to get into a dungeon to make any of the orbs. You need moats and a lot of them. So getting moats is kind of a pain. You know, you have to run around and hopefully find a couple nodes and whatever it is. And these elemental creatures were kind of handy. You know, you could farm them a little bit to get it. Obviously, they could have just lowered the amount that you get. But it still would have been nice to be able to get something, but now they completely remove that. Anyways, that sucks, but it's what they want. They also are giving us our missing um, harvesting gear. I guess they're giving everyone a set, a full set, um, at the highest tier you previously acquired. For housing, they re-enabled trading, moving, and salvaging of furnishings and housing items. This actually took a lot longer to fix than I thought it was going to be. This this stuff was disabled for at least like two weeks. So it's a little annoying that it went on for so long, but obviously there was a big problem there. Um, thankfully, I guess they fixed it. Let's hope it's actually fixed. For crafting, I guess they fixed a bug where jewel crafting recipes were not granting enough XP. And then here they also just went up. This isn't actually a change. They're just going over something that they've already changed with the whole crafting XP thing. And I guess they're explaining why they did it because everyone is, I guess, freaking out about it. I'm fine with this. I, I, I like that they did this because everyone was just focusing on the low, low tier mats and that was it, right? Because it was super easy just to buy a shit ton of iron and then just make something, right? Or like linen. This makes the higher level mats actually worth more, um, which was obviously a big problem for a while where they were almost worth nothing. Like you, you could get the highest mats in the game and you could sell them for literally nothing. So uh, I'm actually okay with this change that they did. It's an issue where players were not able to fill buy orders from local storage sheds. Um, that's nice. Servers, I guess they put down the groundwork for server merges. Hopefully that happens soon because I do know a lot of people are stuck on servers with almost no population. That makes the game even worse than I feel, and I'm on a high pop server. So I don't know how those people must feel. Like, I, I would probably just not play until the merges happen, unfortunately. Um, more war performance enhancements. That's good. I actually did a war last night and it was probably one of the first wars that I participated in that actually went pretty smooth. You know, I didn't feel like there was like people running in place or anything like that. Yeah, it was a little bit laggy, but for the most part, you know, I could hit people, especially as a bow user. It's so hard to hit people when it's lagging like crazy and people are running in place. So that was like... A really good war experience so hopefully they just keep on improving that and then other than that they just fixed some void gauntlet problems um, which is nice 
and that's about it so yeah it's a super quick update nothing too crazy no content drops or anything um i can't wait for that day um so yeah i will have this link down below if you guys want to check it out yourselves but other than that guys um i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh please be sure to drop a like comment and a subscribe hit that bell notification be notified when i go live if you guys are playing new world i hope you guys are enjoying it and good luck